Greetings fellow Octopathians and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. I got all eight party members now. All the protagonists are assembled. But it's time for some side story cleanup. Ripple Tide's up first. So this will include scrutinization and... Well... Among other things. Oh! Hold on! While I'm going on my little tour here... Where's the tavern? I actually need to go there and switch out a party member. Oh, hi treasure. Uh, change party. I need Therion. Uh, I'm gonna bench Ophelia temporarily for this while I'm work while I'm working on some of this stuff. So there's a woman here. Townsperson, discount the end. The widow of a fisherman in Rippletide. Since her husband's passing several years ago, she has relied solely on her fishing skills to make a living. She keeps her late husband's harpoon as a memento, unable to bring herself to throw it away. Can I steal said harpoon? <laughs> yes, you can! <laughs> oh, I'm... Oh, what is that? You keep his harpoon as a memento? It's mine! I swear, I'm gonna get comments saying how terrible a person I am for stealing <laughs> precious things from people. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get yelled at for this. Now, I'm the adventurer, the world's in peril, I need it. <laughs> Inquisitive merchant. This merchant of Ripple Tide was once a seaman, but was forced to give up the life due to incurable seasickness. Now he operates a business in this hometown. Down to earth and easy going, he enjoys hearing tales of travel and adventure, and can often be found chatting with sailors or caravan traders. You don't say. Oh, it's just... Those kinds of material, that's not a big deal. Oh, here's some... Let's talk to you first. Caravan member, a guard who accompanies a caravan that transports sundries from place to place. Rescued by the traders after collapsing in the desert, he has traveled with them ever since. Uncomfortable in large groups, he prefers to spend his time alone gazing at the stars above. I had to be quiet for a moment there. People in these neighbor neighborhood are assholes. They like loud vehicles. <laughs> Le man. <laughs> Le man. My name is Le man. Adventurer extraordinaire. Perhaps you've heard of me. No? A shame that. Anyhow, I'm just about to set out on the journey of a lifetime. Hark! Can you hear it? That's the sound of the great unknown calling to me. And yet, can you believe it? I seem to be completely unequipped for my adventure. My young friend, could you help a great adventurer prepare for his journey? Layman, explorer extraordinaire. My name is Layman, the great adventurer. It may not look like it, but I am in need of some help. Of course, your kindness will go not go unrewarded. Anyone who comes to my aid will become a memorable sidekick in the epic tale of Layman. Yeah, sure, uh-huh. Introduction to adventuring. Layman. <laughs> People in my neighborhood, stop, please. Antique dealer, hidden item. The right person to go to when starting something new. This antique this antique dealer specializes in creating sets and assembles everything from equipment packs for soldiers, to lab materials for researchers, to lumber for carpenters. You have everything you say. 
adventurer's attire. Oh, well, I'm guessing this is what layman wants. Here, layman. Here's lay attire for lay adventure. So give me lay reward so I can lay on. Or lay move on. God, I can't even make a proper joke. Why this is? This is precisely the sort of equipment a great adventurer like myself needs. It cannot be that you prepared all of this for my sake, can it? Forgive me to have a complete stranger go to such lengths for me. And yet, since you have already gone to such lengths, would it not be more rude for me to refuse your generosity? You don't mind, do you? Thank you! You are no stranger, no. From today, we are fast friends! Now that I am fully equipped, it's time I set out to discover a new continent! Hear me now, O oh thou vast and uncharted world! I am Layman, and I venture unto thee! Ahem. Anyhow, I have a feeling our paths will cross again one day. Farewell, my friend of my heart. Layman, away! Layman. <laughs> Beverage vendor, hidden item. A merchant hailing from the highlands who carries only the best and most distinguished of liquors. You don't say. The tavern in Sunshade is one of his most loyal clients. Oh, so this is where the guy from Sunshade Tavern's been getting his rare liquor from. Okay. He knows everything but the taste of his merchandise as he does not drink any of it. Smart man. Wait a minute, I can't... Hello. I can't steal his merchandise? Can I challenge him for his merchandise? Nah, leave him be. Oh, there's a hidden item. Sleepweed. This guy's hiding in the back. I want to get back there to him. What are you hiding back here for? Merchant. Hidden item. Merchant of unknown origins involved in a mysterious trade. The goods he sells and how he obtains them are a secret. Oh, really? What do you have as your wares? Really? You're so mysterious, yet you have crap I can just go find normally. Poison dust. Tony, an unreliable young man living in Rippletide. His frail exterior belies a resolute heart which cannot be easily shaken. Aww. Heavy bow. Sure. Hey, Tressa, you want a heavy bow? Yeah, I know. I'm kind of shafting haunted, I know. Who are you, madam? Mathilda. Is it Mathilda or is the H silent? Matilda. Known for her beauty, this woman is the object of affection for many. Men, men come to Ripple type from far and wide seeking her hand, though her scathing words chase them all away. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Ooh, plate. I'll take that. Oh. Ugh. Oh, did I? Oh, she is side quest. Oops, I'm sorry. Ugh. Why can't he seem to understand? The same stubborn fool has proposed to me ten times over. Every time I turn him down, and every time he runs home crying all the way. 
What woman in her right mind would want to marry such a spineless and fragile man? Not me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I didn't even look at the percentage. <laughs> Oops. Hidden item. Uh, townsperson, until a few years ago, this man was an infamous criminal across the continent. But while planning a robbery in Rippletide, he got to know the town and its people and decided to leave his unscrupulous past behind. Though living an honest life now, his knowledge of the citizens, both good and bad, stays with him. Mm hmm. What you have then? Black attire, stingling dagger. And here's Tress's parents. Marina. Tress's mother, she was working at the general store in her hometown when she met Ol' Neo and eventually decided to go to Rippletide to be his side, to be his bride. A youthful beauty who could still turn heads, she sometimes gets mistaken for Ol' Neo's daughter. Whoa. Zero. <laughs> Okay, how much does it cost to buy these? You're not even allowed to steal this. Alright, I definitely will try to steal this. 55, try it! Ah! Don't. Oh! There we go. Now, what does this do exactly? Restores SP after every action. Hmm. I don't want to spend my money. Scrutinize, 70%. Old Neo. Tress's father and owner of the Colzione family provisioners. He met his wife while roaming the realm as a merchant. He longed to have his own shop in his hometown of Rippletide, and in the same year his daughter was born, he made that dream come true. Beastly Scarf restores HP after every action. Ah, oh, that's another one of those Mega Elixir jam items. I'm almost... I'm getting there. What about you? I'm gonna have to get you out of my way. Here in a moment. Townsperson, smarter bartering. Young man who resides in Rippletide with his grandmother. Though he lacks her prowess in trade, he still has an ability of his own, getting others to open their hearts to him. You have a better chance of getting a discount. Oh, so I can go back and get some reduced rates on those accessories. What do you have in your pocket, sir? Hey, for 100%, I won't turn them down. Get out of my way! Whoa! Calm down, sir! Um, yeah, I'm not fighting him. <laughs> Don't! Articulate stone. He's like Gandalf. You shall not pass! <laughs> I might not finish with that. I might not get to Atlas Dam today. Alright, scrutinize. Astute child. A young boy who lives in Rippletide, often left to his own devices by his busy parents, he spends much of his time with his elderly neighbor, listening to stories of faraway lands. What do you have, a marble too? Spiriting plum medium. Attempt it. Alright, I got it. Exotic Grandma. An elderly woman who has acquired a deep knowledge of the world's languages and cultures through her travels. No longer fit for such adventures, she lives to impart her knowledge to others. And she has all the different soul stones in her pocket. Hey. 
Don't mind me. I'm getting there. Tony's mother, hidden item. A strong and robust woman who carries who worries carries who worries about her son who was raised to be as spineless as his own father. Thunder Soulstone Large. Ooh. Are you it? Harris, a childhood friend of Lehman. He has both admonished and encouraged his friend who has, all, has always aspired to be a great adventurer. In secret, he is jealous of Lehman's courage to chase his dream. Come what may. <laughs> Lehman. Yeah, I ain't gonna risk it. Alright, so I could try to barter those accessories off the parents. I could try that. It says I should have a reduced... Good lord. It... You can try to barter a discount. Th this is expensive. Unbelievable. I don't know who the man is that woman's talking about, so I don't know what to do about that. But I helped lay man. All right, I'm gonna take a quick trip to Atlas Dam. I already scrutinized a bunch of people here. Yeah, I've already scrutinized a lot of them. Alright, I didn't do this one. Thoughtful rancher delivers the fresh milk from his cows to his parents every morning. His parents worry for his future, though, as he dedicates his entire life to work. Though I didn't steal from anyone. Ambrosial milk. Oh, that's the milk I need for that chef. New weapons for sale at the shop. In charge of defending the castle town, this mercenary turned guard keeps a vigilant eye on those coming in and out of the gates. Once he spots a suspicious figure, he uses whatever means necessary to apprehend them. Well, you weren't very good at apprehending the assassin who was here earlier. Oh, yeah, this is the debtor guy, isn't it? Actually, before I fight him... Now, how hard are you? Ooh. A fair challenge for our, for Sir Ulbrich, the Unbending Let Blade. Let us fight with honor. Let us fight Victory with honor. Extort. Victory shall what is this witchery? The battle cuts. The battle is The battle is truly joined. Alright, I can go for... Yeah, let's do cross strike. Yeah! Excellent. Uh, the thrill of the fight. That'll teach you. Huh? What do you think you're doing? You planning on sticking up for this useless milk sop? I know that you've been illicitly inflating the debt that is owed to you. Yet I have continued to pay you all that you demanded, not wanting to give you any chance to dirty my father's good name. But I have paid you more than enough, and should we take this to some greater authority and see whose side justice comes out upon, hmm? Hmm. Do as you please. Thank you very much. Your courage inspired me to find my own. It's time that I propel myself to pursue my own dream. I've been thinking for some time that I'd like to set out on a journey. There are so many poor children in this world who cannot get the education they deserve. I wish to change that. And I will begin right here in the Flatlands. I will embark on a journey to teach the poor children of these lands. Admirable. Alright. 
continue. Calm woman. Bob mannered woman who treats everyone with such kindness that some men have grown infatuated with her. She's completely unaware that these admirers have misinterpreted her actions or even fought amongst themselves over her supposed affections. For the most part, other women pity her a lot and think the men utter fools. <laughs> Jeez, I can't get the sneezing out of my system. Oh, I've already scrutinized you, so what's in your pocket? House Landar Records. Oh, this is that journal he's protecting. Contains notes about the location of the Highborn family's secret treasure trove. I have new knowledge! I have acquired new knowledge. Mm, not worth it. What's in your pocket? A flying helm and a fire soul. Flying helm? Interesting. Oh, cool! It's better! Yeah, there's a lot of people to talk to. Obstinate Merchant, a merchant who spends a disproportionate amount of the time loitering near Milo in the hopes of obtaining profitable information. He tries to do so by deliberately bumping into him and striking up a conversation about nothing in particular. So you're a busybody. He's a busybody, in short. Apothecary, guide with ease. After the great pestilence of the Riverlands, this apothecary decided to dedicate himself to disease prevention and swift treatment. He now works together with the Royal Academy to create both medicine and new forms of treatment. I still would like to actually see more information about the pestilence. The residents of this town will now be more receptive to your guidance. <laughs> Excuse me. The childhood friend of the reckless boy by her side. Being the older by two years, she was entrusted with watching over him. Despite his endless curiosity, oftentimes putting them both in danger, she takes her role seriously and is prepared to face whatever challenges come her way. Hidden item. Actually, did I try to steal from the apothecary up here? Did I do that? No, I didn't. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. Then there's the boy. I've got the milk, but there's a couple other things. Here. Smarter bartering. Brimming with curiosity, this bo young boy will go to whatever lengths necessary to save an interest, even if it puts him in danger. Though his reckless tendencies may worry those around him, the oftentimes rare and valuable items he brings back from his adventures have earned him the esteem of friends. You can have, have a better chance of bartering for items. An egg. Okay, there's the egg. What about you, sir? <laughs> Crest-bearing drunk. Terrible drunk who becomes incredibly violent when deep in his cup. A former mercenary, he knows all too well how to hurt a man and his rampages have led him to be cast out from many a tavern. His sole prized possession is a gold medal. Oh! And here I was thinking I was going to be clever. Dan! A man of the Frostlands attempting to design a new kind of windmill. For a time, he was apprenticed to an inventor while pursuing his studies. He specializes in improving on already established designs, making them cheaper to produce and more efficient to operate. Hey, that's one type of engineer for you. I think there's people in the tavern too. Yep. Tavern patron, hidden item. Every morning, this fisherman hauls his catch to the castle town of Atlas Dam. He takes his leftovers to the tavern to have it cooked, and enjoys the fruits of his labor alongside a few drinks. 
Emperor Crab. And that's for that dish, too. Let me on the other side of the table, please. Thank you. Tavern Patron, hidden item. Old mercenary spends most of his day in the tavern. He claims the liquor calms his nerves. So when summoned by his employer, he reports for duty with staggering steps. <laughs> uh, poor lad. Mm, this looks like a lot of money. I had this guy's item, so let's talk to him. Greetings. So let's hand over the stuff. Oh, thank you! At last I can cook a meal truly fit for a king! Behold! My newest specialty! Crimson Crab Pie! Oh! Oh! What a scrumptious aroma! Might I have a taste? Wait, I know you. You're famed throughout the realm for your discerning palate. Why, it would be my pleasure. Why, this is absolutely delicious. Simply sublime. The rich and savory taste of the crab melds perfectly with the thick, buttery pie crust. It's wonderful piping hot. But I have no doubt it would be just as tasty served cold as well. But of course, after all, there's no guarantee the pie won't cool by the time it reaches the king's table. I can see you've thought this through. This is a dish I'd love to share with my fellow di fine dining aficionados. Why well, would be an honor? Sweet. There were two hidden items. Yep, there it is. If I recall, there's like another quest up here somewhere. Yeah, there's more people here. But I don't have any more time right now. Yeah, so I'll have to complete my cleanup a little bit later. Yeah, so I'll finish up my prologue area cleanup next time, because I'm not totally done here in Atlas Dam. Though I don't think I'm going to be able to get over to level 25 to challenge Alphys again. We'll see where I end up. So, yeah, I'll keep the cleanup going next time. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.